let's start at the beginning. Who are you and what club are you with and what battle are we looking at here? Uh, I'm Jan Korman. It's not really a club, it's more sort of an all-star team from England, Sweden, Finland. That's probably about it at the moment. And uh, we only meet once a year and put on uh, this. So we're Dalo Brawl and uh, we put on uh, Battle of Stärket today. That's 1719. Um very impressive looking table. I love to see a lot of ships in a lot of water and you've certainly got that on there. Now, am I right in saying you're the, you're the main modeler behind the project? Yes. Uh, I've made the boards, the trees, the buildings and the ships and, and the fortifications. But uh, the, the lovely figures that you see, they're painted by uh, Michael and Jesper and uh, a couple of other people. Timu from Finland as well joined in with his. He's got a large collection of, of the same period. Tell us a bit about the battle, because it looks very intriguing and it's what, not one I know much about. What, what's going on? It's the very end of the Great Nord Northern Wars, and basically Sweden at this point, basically ba bankrupt, trying to invade Russia wasn't a good idea. Uh, Russians coming over trying to bully us into a favourable peace agreement. They're sending over 100,000 soldiers and sailors over with hundreds of uh, galleys and literally raiding the whole coast. The only area properly defended is Stockholm. This is the old route into Stock Stockholm and it's defended by partly by sunken ships but also by some, some almost home guard troops. Okay. And what rules are you using? Are you using uh, Pikeman's Lament? We're, we're using the same as last year. We're using Pikeman's uh, Lament and uh, they seem to work well for this sort of uh, it's not the largest battle in the world, and uh, they work well for this this size. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, uh, luckily for you viewers, we are going to see more of this game in War Games Illustrated because I'm going to press the boys into writing an article for us about it. Uh, uh, but for now, thank you very much. Thank you very much.